Hello, my name is David Cano Mejia. I am a solutions consultant with Trimec, and today we're going to be continuing our 3D experience series by talking about 3D Drive, which allows us to store, share, and manage our documents using any device. So let's jump in and take a look. So the first thing I want to clear up is something that is confusing to some people when talking about the 3D Drive in the platform. So there are two main places that you can store files on the platform. The first one is 3D Space. You can think of this as your company's internal vault where data is stored in collaborative spaces, and you can have lifecycle management of these files. On the other hand, 3D Drive just provides a basic storage space online where you can upload any document and keep things organized using folders. So they are two different things. Here on the left, I have my 3D Drive app. Let's go ahead and maximize that. If I look on the left, I can see that I have two main spaces my files, and files that have been shared with me. If anybody shares a folder or a file with you from their own 3D drive, this is where you could find it. So you can see that this is very basic file storage. If I go over to the new icon, I can add a folder. Let's say that this folder is meant for sharing. I can double click on that folder to access it. And then to add files, I can go back to the new button and say upload file, or I can also click and drag it from my local machine. So what if we now wanted to share this folder with someone? Well, to do that, we have to go to the information icon on the top right of your screen. On the second tab for accesses, I can click on add members and give viewing rights or editing rights to someone within my organization. Now that's great, but let's say that we needed to share this folder with a client or vendor or someone outside of my organization. Well, for that, we can go to the third tab. I can activate this external sharing link, copy the link and send it to them or email it to them, so they will now have access to that folder. That external person you send this to does not need to already have access to the 3D Experience platform in order to view your folder. So you can really share it with anyone. Now the last thing I wanna show is how you can integrate your 3D drive into your local machine. We have this option on the lower right that allows us to install our 3D experience drive onto our Windows machine. If this is your first time installing something from the platform onto your machine, you will need to download the 3D experience launcher, which it will prompt you to do. Just go through the installation process once you do, go back into the platform, click Continue, and once again, click on Install 3D Experience Drive for Windows. Go through, through the installation steps, and once you do, you will be able to access your 3D Drive through your Windows File Explorer. And this will stay synced with your 3D Drive in the platform. So as an example, if I just add a file to this folder in Windows, you will see that it also shows up in our 3D drive in the platform. So the 3D drive can be an incredibly useful tool for storing and sharing any type of files, as well as a great way of syncing your desktop machine to the platform. I hope you will check it out and give it a try.